In this video, we will cover the following topics. Opening the Fiber Inspector. Creating a new project. Selecting a fiber inspection limit. Adding cable IDs. Running a test. And reviewing the results. In this video, we're going to look at how we can set up a fiber inspection limit. Now, we could go in and take a look at the end face of a fiber. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the secret button on the bottom of my FI 1000 fiber inspection scope. It takes me right to the fiber inspection screen. If I come in and I take a look at a fiber, ooh, that doesn't look good at all. But how do I know if that passes or not? I don't. It's a pretty subjective call on whether that fiber is clean enough. So we're going to come back. We're going to go back to the main screen. Now, like I've said a number of times, I always like to create a new project when I'm going in and doing things. I don't like to overwrite the default. So I'm going to tap on project. I'm going to go to change project. We're going to create a new project and we'll call this fiber demo. I'll hit done. Now I want to add a new test. So I'm going to go ahead and start out by deleting the default test in there and I'm going to add a new test. Now for this test, I'm going to come up to my module and I'm going to go to Fiber Inspector Pro. Now this brings up my Fiber Inspector Pro configuration screen. So from here I can say what type test type am I doing? Well, I'm doing a fiber inspection, my test limit. Now if I just wanted to look at the end face, I could do a document and take a picture of it and save it. In this case, I want to compare it with a standard. So I'm going to come into my test limit and because I'm doing multi-mode fiber, I'm going to choose IEC 61300-3-35ED.2MM. This is my multi-mode test limit. So I'll select that. Now, I can select the end type. Now, if I was doing MPO fibers, I could choose the fiber configuration I've got on there. Today I'm using the FI1000 and I'm using a single fiber adapter. So we're going to do single fiber and in another video we'll do the FI3000. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. So now we've created our fiber inspection test. So I'll hit save and in our cases previously we've gone in We've deleted the default cable ID set. I'll say new cable ID set because my fibers, I've got two fibers for each cable. I'm going to say 001A and I'm going to go through 12B. So that's fibers A and B for each one of my cables. So I'll say done. Now in this case, we're going to do fiber and we can say what tests are we going to do? Now this will determine our percent done. So in this example, I'm going to do fiber inspector end one and end two, and I'll hit save. So now I've got my test all set up. So I'll go back and let's go ahead and put that fiber inspection scope back on the end of that fiber. And now I'm going to tap test. And so there's my end face and I'm going to hit analyze. And it says, look, we just stopped. There are too many defects to even show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off of there and I'm going to give this a click with my click cleaner, my Fluke Networks click cleaning pen. So we'll give it one click and I'm going to put the scope back on there and I'll hit the play button. Well, that looks better. So I'll hit analyze and it passes. So what we find is that with that single click, we were able to go in and clean that end face. Now, you'll notice that there's some little green dots down there in that lower right hand quadrant. That's where it detected that we had some defects in there, but they're not within one of the zones where that's a problem. So now I can come in and hit save. And that's going to save it as end one of fiber 1A. And we'll say save. And now we're ready to move on to the next fiber. So I can come in, I'll grab my next fiber. I'll put the scope on. I'll hit the play button. I can hit analyze. In this case, it shows me what caused the failure. 
So again, I'll come in, I'll give that a click clean. I'll come back, I'll hit play, I'll hit analyze, and it failed again. Now in this case, we could be running into some defects with the end face of that fiber or something that the click cleaner is not going to clean. And that's where we would go in, we'd use our hybrid fiber cleaning pen and a pad. We clean that or this end could be bad and we just have to save it as being failed. So we could say that's fiber 1B and 1, we'll hit save. So that's how we go in and we set up a fiber end face inspection limit, do some testing, some inspecting, some cleaning, and saving the results. Oh yeah, one last thing. If we hit results, we can come in and I can say show me my end face of A, and I could see the image, I could see what defects are out there. We'll go back, I could look at fiber B, I could look at what defects are out there and it tells me exactly what defects caused it to fail. So thanks for watching this video and keep an eye out for the other videos we have on fiber inspection, the CertiFiber Pro, the DSX Cable Analyzer, and the other modules that go in the Fluke Networks Versive.